Before I played Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I was a loser. Yes, you heard me correctly. Before I played the game Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I was an absolute loser. Some would argue that I still am to this day, but I'd argue that now I'm a loser in maybe a different way. To really understand why I say this, you've got to listen to what I have to say first. So, some of you who have been subscribed to the channel for a little while now, if you're not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But you know that up until rather recently, I wasn't the biggest fan of the classic games. Bruh. That isn't exactly a big secret. If you've followed me for long enough, you know this. I've said this in basically every video where I talk about the classic games. However, the one thing that I have been trying to keep under wraps for a little while now is that basically at just the sight or even thought of playing these games back then, I would have what is known as a visceral reaction. These reactions would be so bad that I would just kind of dislike Classic Sonic to his entirety. Now, if you've noticed, if you've been watching my evolution throughout this channel, I've grown as an individual. I've come to really like and appreciate Classic Sonic. Albeit, I prefer him doing his own thing rather than being conjoined together with modern Sonic, but that is a separate discussion. But going back to my main point here, the only thing that I really found truly interesting about Classic Sonic, or just this time period of Sonic really, was the character designs, the art style, and just the overall aesthetic of the character. There wasn't really anything in the games that I was just wowed by. To me, the classic games, and even most 2D games at that time period, just weren't that fun. If you weren't, I don't know, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I probably wasn't playing you as a kid, or Super Mario Bros. DS, New Super Mario Bros. DS, that game was also very, very good. Now again, don't get me wrong, I was and I've always basically been a huge fan of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, but I just specifically ignored the classic games. I still played some of the 2D games like Sonic Rush, Sonic Rush Adventure, and so on and so forth, but those classic games I could just never get behind. Now I think it's one thing to just not like something. If you don't like the classic games, I don't think you're a loser. But I think you're a loser if you dislike them actively without trying them. And that goes for things other than Sonic the Hedgehog too. I think if you're deciding to basically bash something or just actively choose to dislike something without even giving it a chance, then you're really setting yourself up for failure. Honestly, to put it plainly, you're just choosing to miss out on what could possibly be a wonderful experience. Having said that, I was a loser. I was purposefully trying to avoid any chance of me playing any of the classic games. When Sonic Origins was announced, I was sad because I wanted it to be modern 2D games, not classic or remade classic 2D games. But you know, if it had not been for Sonic Origins, I doubt I would be in this position. Because of this announcement, I kind of put myself in a position to want to prove myself wrong. I wanted to actively try to see if I was wrong about these classic Sonic games by getting this new, updated port of it and trying all of them out at the same time in this one package game. So you can say whatever you want about Sonic Origins, I love the game. But anyway, I had gone through and played Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, and I kind of was like, yeah, you know what, Sonic 1 was alright, it was better than I expected, but I'm not blown away by this. There's a lot of it I just don't really like. <coughs> and the same kind of went on for Sonic 2. I noticed the game was getting better, but I still wasn't totally impressed. And then Sonic CD was actually worse than I had expected. I know a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me on that, but I just wasn't a huge fan. Then I hit Sonic 3. Sonic 3 is where everything began to change, because after having played Sonic 1, CD, and Sonic 2, I was at a point where I was like, well, what's the point of going further? I've already seen everything I need to see, my opinion is pretty much valid, these games aren't that great, I think they're just okay. But Sonic 3? Oh my gosh, brother. This might be the perfect Sonic game. Over a year ago, I made a video titled Top 10 Sonic Games, and to be more specific, this was my own personal Top 10, so it was not only the best Sonic games on this list, but also ones that I just personally had a lot of attachment to, so there might be some unlikely picks in there. Having said that, Sonic 3 & Knuckles is in my Top 5, and it is the only classic Sonic game to get that high, and the only 2D Sonic game to get that high. Now don't get me wrong, games like Sonic Mania did crack the top 10, and that was a game I did play at launch, but for me, Sonic Mania was the exception to the other Sonic games. I was still a loser because I thought that even though Sonic Mania was really good, 
I shouldn't expect much from the first four Sonic games being Sonic 1, CD, 2, and 3. Oh, but here's the thing. Sonic 3 and Knuckles blows all of those games out of the water because it captures everything that Sonic the Hedgehog should be. The environment that each zone has in this game is not only distinct from the one prior, but it also really captivates you with its colors and just overall feel and landscape. The level design, if for the most part, is just fantastic. I could not get bored of this game if I tried. And even if you do get bored of playing as one particular character, playing as another one makes an entirely different experience. And I know story really shouldn't matter in the classic games, but I really like this one. You know, you got this new character named Knuckles who's working alongside Eggman because he's been bamboozled to hurt Sonic and Tails and basically destroy everything without even really realizing. It's a great story and an even better way of introducing this new fan-favorite character into the series. I mean, his introduction was him pounding Super Sonic and knocking all the Chaos Emeralds out of him. And before this game, we saw Super Sonic kind of take care of business in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So we already knew the feats that Super Sonic was capable of. Just to see him get totally knocked out by Knuckles is just insane. And while I personally didn't get to experience Sonic 3 the way it was intended with the Sonic 3 original soundtrack, I personally liked the way that Origins did and handled this soundtrack for Sonic 3, because I don't really have that great of a metric for comparison, because I don't really know the entirety of how the Sonic 3 soundtrack was like, but hey, I enjoyed it and thought it was pretty good. So after escaping being a loser and really giving Sonic 3 a go in these other classic Sonic games, you'd wonder if I'd gone back to maybe experience Sonic 1, 2, and CD again, and what my thoughts are on the overall classic genre in general is. And to be totally honest with you, no. I, I don't have an interest in going back to replay Sonic 1, 2, or CD. Maybe at some point later down the line, but right now, I just am not feeling it. That said, I did really like Sonic Superstars, which I know is another one that you're probably shaking your head at me for and probably saying I'm a fake Sonic the Hedgehog fan as you're rushing to the comments to type that in there. But even having said that, I have gained a newfound appreciation for all of the classic games. I now recognize that they all laid the groundwork for what would be the best 2D Sonic game ever made. I mean, to me, it's like Sonic 1, 2, and CD all just walk so Sonic 3 could run. That's really what it comes down to. And no disrespect if you like any of these games, I don't want it to be that way because I like some games that you probably don't like, and I don't really care. So, we should all be good. But having said that, what do you guys think about Sonic 3? Do you think it is the best classic Sonic game, or do you think there is another one that is better than Sonic 3? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below, I'd love to see what you guys have to say. Also while you're at it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on the video if you enjoyed it, and turn on the post notifications bell also would help too, so you never miss a video from me. You guys do not want to miss what I have to say. But anyway, with all that being said and done, this is your boy Sonic signing out. Have a super blessed day, y'all. Why are you playing that trash?